Welcome to this Sunday's Gospel Reflection. Today's Gospel speaks of the Good Shepherd. And today, the Sunday, we also celebrate Mother's Day. This is many memories of the first time that Mother's Day was celebrated, when I was still a young boy. The combination of these two uh, celebrations, memories, the Good Shepherd and Mother's Day, made me think of two very good women shepherdesses who have taught me so much about the Good Shepherd. The first was an elderly lady tending her few sheep in a field. Well, I was walking um, the countryside and, and saw this uh, elderly lady sitting on a low rubble wall in our Maltese countryside and I could not help stopping to chat with her for a moment and she was more than willing to strike a conversation. That fills the time I suppose. We started to talk about her sheep and she came out with a detailed life history of each and every one of her sheep and lambs. Who were the mothers of which lambs? Who were the cousins? The uncles? The flock was her family. And she described the various characters and personalities of her sheep with their good and their bad traits. She knew them Inside out, they were her children. She knew them by name. And then she opened up and was started saying how worried she was because she needed to be admitted to hospital and had still not found anybody to take care of her sheep. What would happen to them when I am away? Who will care for them? Who will stay with them? Who will love them the way I love them? How can they survive without me? Those were her worries. Which brings me to the second shepherdess that I know very well. She was my mother. She had a very numerous and varied flock of sheep to care for. Ten children, plus their father. And like the shepherdess in the field, she knew also her children and her husband very, very, very well. Their qualities, their defects, their characters, their needs, their talents. She knew them by name also. And as mothers and children know, nobody is able to call a child's name in the unique, tender, endearing way as a mother. I remember I was still, well, perhaps six, seven years old. I remember very well mom herding us during a Sunday afternoon walk in the car-free streets of my childhood. We were as varied and even more energetic than the flock of sheep of that other shepherdess in the fields. Different ages, all unique characters. There was the adventurous discoverer who would disappear, insisting on walking off in a different direction from the rest of the herd. There was the fast walker who would run ahead. There was the lazy or the sulking brother lagging behind or the contemplative sister stopping to follow up a beetle uh, uh, that she would notice uh, uh, strolling on the ground. There was mummy's girl tired of walking and constantly wanting to be carried by her. The lazy brother who would hitch a lift, you know, dangling to one side of the creaking pushchair where the baby was and the baby pushing off the invader, fighting to keep the privileged right for himself. Well, it was quite a varied scene. Poor mum, she had to keep track of all of us. Like a desperate shepherdess, 
she would try not to lose any of her sheep. How can they survive without her? Jesus, like every mother, and of course in their own ways like every good father, is the good shepherd. And what distinguishes a good from a bad shepherd is first of all the fact that a good shepherd knows his sheep by name. They are not just a flock. They are not just a herd. For him, each is a unique treasured gift for whom he is ready to give his life. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine, says Isaiah. And to know the name of a person is to know the person. And no one can pronounce your name in the same way as your father, your mother, husband, wife, or the person who loves you. I am sure that when we meet God, we will be greatly surprised to see that our names are tattooed on his hand for perpetual memory. Can a mother forget her baby or a woman the child within her womb? Though she may forget, I will never forget you. I have carved your name on the palm of my hand. And the palm of God's hand is the infinite depth of his loving heart for each and every one of us, his children. John, in his vision, saw a great multitude, which no one could count, from every nation, race, people, tongue. This is the beloved flock for whom God's own son, Jesus, gave his life. It is you, me, each and every single person who has ever lived and who will ever live on the face of the earth. John says, a great multitude which no one could count from every nation, race, people, tongue. We speak of so, so often of Ukrainians. Those are not Ukrainians. Those are mothers, fathers, children, babies, young people. Each and one has a name, but we don't know the names. But God knows the names. And knowing the name means knowing what every pain is really like in the heart of every single victim. And similarly, it is only God who knows the real joys that fill our hearts, which no one can understand. That's knowing the name of a beloved. No one could count the number of God's children because we are not numbers. Each one of us has a name. Each one of us is cherished and loved for his, for her own sake. Each one is irreplaceable and uniquely precious. No one child can stand or replace another. I remember another mother, today's Mother's Day, Mother's Day and she lost her baby uh, in pregnancy and she was telling me how her friends tried to console her after her loss and one of them told her well don't you worry God will remember you again you know you will have another child so don't, don't worry for the one you have lost you will have another child 
And then she told me, Father, which child can replace the one that I have just lost? That is knowing by name. So today, let us be grateful for two enormous, infinite graces. The first is that we are one flock, tended by one extraordinary shepherd. We are one in the loving heart of God, our mother, shepherdess. The second grace is that we are unique gifts, individually crafted, unrepeatable miracles. Let us allow the Good Shepherd to lead us to life-giving and everlasting pastures. God bless you and thank you.